Hey, welcome back. Timo with Timo Paints, and today's another live hidden camera painting estimate. Um, if you guys are interested in how I estimate my jobs, um, how I actually like come up with the numbers, uh, click the links in the description below. And if you're interested in how I get leads for my jobs, um, click the link in the description below. All right, let's go check it out. Hope I get it. Cross your fingers. Wish me luck in the comments. All right, I'll see you inside. How you doing? Name's Tim. Tim? Expecting me? Painter? Uh, yeah, painter. Alright, Coach, come on. He's getting the dogs out. Okay. Yeah. You know your name? Uh, Anthony. Anthony, my name's Tim. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Cool. Nice to meet you. Sorry, I have to leave. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, I just I, I had some free time, so I thought Thank I'd squeeze you. it in. Thank you. My yeah. name's Megan. Cool. My name's Tim. Bye. Nice to meet you. <laughs> bye. Yeah, hi, bye. Okay. Uh, so basically, it's. Bye, Coach. Touch up. I love you. I'll call you. All around. These walls all need to be. Bye, Touched up. And we just look just walls. Uh, yeah, we we've uh, we're done the baseboards in the hallway and all that stuff, so that's good. This wall we were gonna do a certain color, but they told us just to keep it gray. So okay. We're just gonna paint this wall gray. Now we actually need—I don't know if you think this gray will be able to cover that. This gray cover the dark yeah. blue. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we could always knock it down back to white too with some primer and then. Yeah, that's what she said. If we need primer, we can get that for you or whatever. Okay. But yeah, they. We're we're looking to sell, so we were, we started painting before that. So we started painting this color, and she's oh, I wouldn't need to do that color. That's too personal. <laughs> so I just painted all the same color. So like okay, so um, yeah, I've touched up just you know whatever you cut ends up there or whatever. Okay. And this wall, and I mean it's just some little things and basically, and then and like if you could touch up. So is boards. it going t into the white or is it staying blue? No, well this is this is actually gray. We're going to this color, so it's just it's just touching up. It's oh, not, so all the cut, okay, yeah, so all the cut yeah, in and everything. Yeah, it's just there's little bits of wall where I at the time couldn't reach, so I just kind of left it. I see. But um, it's just basically, I mean, it's, it's I mean, you're not painting the whole house. So. Yeah, and it's just this room here. No, so, um, there's this. I'll get that off the wall. Are you kidding me, kid? <laughs> slime. Um, oh yeah, I know all about slime. Um, we need to get this wall. We'll pull this out. We'll get this wall okay. down here, and then she would like, if you're able to, touch up. She's got some right up on the, on the roof of the ceiling up here, more okay. over here than over there. Just kind of touch it up. We have the, cool. the paint for that. This room's done. It's, this is the okay. hallway after that. So up to here, basically, is where? Basically, basically it's, mostly, it's mostly up here. Up to here would be as far as you go this way, then in the hallway. Okay. But there are... White spots still in the freaking paint. Our our lighting kind of sucks ass in here. Uh huh. So as I walk through the hallway after painting, I kind of see spots. But for the most part, it's just just the cut in up top, and then I think there was some spot where over here by the baseboard. For the most part, all the yeah, baseboard has been. Okay, so basically just kind of cruise around with the brush mostly, really. Yeah, that's <clears> kind of. I mean, because down here, I really maybe like a little weenie roller, yeah, just to tighten I, that yeah. up. I mean, just I mean, we're leaving these this color. Okay. And uh, just like even if we have the color for this, so if there's like somewhere that we need to touch up or okay. something, we do that too. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I think that's for, there's a we have these two little pieces of baseboard we didn't paint. Oh, I see on the yeah. On the side we, too. we had pulled all the other ones off, and we left those ones that we did because so we just finished this floor. And we're just like, ah, we'll paint them later. Paint for like pulling them off. So there was those two boards. Actually, there, when I put in the holes, she kind of wasn't like she wants to, you could touch those up too, I guess. Okay, spackle. They're yeah, all over. Yeah, spackle on all of them. Which I mean. So the way to do this, I'd have to pretty much like kind of reset them, you know? Uh, I mean, I could try to fill them, but the problem is it's not really deep enough to like, yeah. you know, fill it with anything. Yeah. So it kind of be like, have to, uh... Well, they've been, they've been putting over. Okay, yeah, we could try to fix them up. I can't guarantee I can get them perfect. Well, I'm not really worried. I mean, just, I mean, just address if them you could paint it, that, I mean, unless we need to sand them down or whatever. Or but they lightly sand them down in some yeah. spots. Just, I mean, yeah, we're not making it perfect. Okay. I think, uh, hey, what are you doing? Um, yeah, I think, for, I mean, for the most part, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's, 
Okay. I mean, there's not really that one wall with the blue is probably mm. the biggest spot that you have to paint one area. Okay. I mean, I could probably do this in one day, I'm thinking. Well, uh, we have, I mean, we should have enough paint. I, we have like a, at least a gallon and a half of this gray, I believe. I think this is uh, pretty close to a full can. We got that one. And I don't think you need, this is, we might, I don't know if we'll end up having to get some more of this. That's this, the trim color yeah, there? Yeah, so there's not okay. a ton of this, so I don't know, we'll have to let, let see get that one is. Yeah, well, I mean. I mean, it, it's not a lot. I mean, I don't notice it as bad, but <clears throat> I do also know what your your wife's like saying, you know, like it's not completely flush is kind of what she's looking for, but you guys are moving out. Well, I, we're just trying to touch everything up. I mean, we're not making anything perfect. There's just, okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, we're just like, if you see, you know, like on some of the boards, I've got some paint on it, just touching like that up, cleaning it up, making okay. it look to where it's not, you know. Wipe all right, so all through here, through the hallway, the hallway, and then back, yeah, and then then a little the, bit of touch up on the base, in the kitchen. but mainly this, and then yeah. that red in the kitchen. And like I said, as you can kind of see how there's some spots, you'll different white, you can see it, but there's both yeah. these white spots up in here, you can see up in here, just stuff like when I was painting, I could not see. I mean, I'm I just wondering if it would be better to just you know paint the whole wall yeah, that's, kind of, that's what she kept saying I'm like, nah, i don't do it and because by the time you it. kind of cruise around and you yeah. like touch up a little right there and then the light changes like oh shit yeah I that's, that's what's kind of happened to me she's like oh you should just paint the whole wall again i was like ah, no nah, i don't need to do that because like, i see them but then yeah. when it gets darker the light i turn the light on and i don't see and you them. always want to put two coats anyways i yeah. mean it's hard well, to get away she's with like, she's like, oh, <clears> both us pay extra for this one coat paint and it ain't no one coat paint. oh yeah i don't know about all that i think that's some marketing stuff there yeah so to be honest with you, I think for you guys to be happy, I, I mean, so I definitely see, like, I, I definitely would probably need to paint from that corner to that corner. And then, I mean, because it would be hard. I mean, I could just, I mean, I don't know, man. I could just come in and paint whatever I see that's white. But then yeah. it's like, you're kind of paying for it to still see the shit that you've been looking at. <laughs> you know, I mean. No, I, I get you. I was, we're kind of. I've been trying to go through it. Like, I just went through the hall the other day and freaking was trying to get all the white spots and then I'm done and then I go, but the next morning I look at it like, fuck, there's more. Yeah, so, okay. I mean. And then, um, as far as, are you guys like moving everything out? Yeah, or? we'll all move whatever I, whatever you need to move. We'll get it out of the way. Yeah, if we just get anything uh, just away from the walls, yeah. that'd be awesome. Yeah. And then any blinds or anything that should be taken down would be cool if you guys want to do that. Yeah, I think I just need these three and then finish taking that one down. I took the the freaking top piece off and and then i'm thinking if me and the helper get in here and get the floors wrapped wrap off all the base i'm thinking uh, i'll probably get it done uh, i'm doing everything and you'll get the paint you said well, we you have said. we have all the paint the only thing i know how much yeah how much do you think you have left like right for the for the gray paint i mean like I said, I think we have, uh, this one's probably about a quarter left in that one. And then we have this one. Oh shit, I guess we don't have as much as I thought we did. We might have maybe three quarters of a can between the two of them right uh, Okay, there. yeah, you might want to just get maybe three more gallons, I think. Of the gray? Yeah, of that. And then we could just put a, we'll just go ahead and put like a light coat on everything. Just make sure we go over everything one more time. And we don't need a super, like, put it on too thick. I see a white one right here. Yeah, there's a white, and there's the blue, and there's the red. I think all the other ones have been tossed if we use them all. Okay, so then, yeah, we'd have to tape off all of the base, some blue tape, some paper. Um, all the wood areas, I like to put down red, red yeah. rosin paper to prevent, like, if we have any spills or yeah. any kind of accidents, well, it doesn't seep through. Yeah, yeah, the good thing, we've, uh, we've spilled paint on this floor, and it wipes up pretty good. Oh, okay. So. But yeah, because I mean, what I think is I'm gonna come through wrap and we're just gonna get it. I'm gonna take off, start start cutting everything in, top and bottom, and then as my helper is just coming through rolling, I think it'll be one day, but it'll probably be a long day, like a ten hour day. And so I'm thinking we're with materials and all that. You're probably looking at about five hundred, five fifty, if that's kind of what you guys were thinking. Uh, and that's just, I mean, we'll paint the whole, yeah, give yeah. it a once over, starting back there all the way back this way. That's including the red, and then we'll touch up the any little. Like me, like I could see this one for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like ones like that that stick out. 
And basically, like you say, you're trying to, you're going to put it on the market, right? Well, yeah, we're, that's what we're going So you just want to make right everything now. look crispy. Yeah, for we're just, I mean. Somebody walks through. Yeah, I don't know what happened here. Cause she, we had these off and she painted and we never painted nothing after that. So I don't know what that, what happened there. But yeah, I was noticing that when we were putting them back on. Okay. Um, but, um, you know, yeah, I, you know, I can, if we get it done like eight hours, I can do it for 400. Yeah. Cause, uh, we had someone come out and they told us like 650 and. She talked to someone else, so that's ridiculous how much, but I, I mean, we're not painters, obviously, so. Yeah, and that's to do it right, man. I mean, that's to come in, like I said, to wrap the floors nice yeah. and tight. We'll come in, we'll clean up. By the time it's done, it'll be done, done. There won't be any questions about it, you know? Well, I mean, obviously, I mean, we're going to have to figure it out someday because she don't even want to do it. She don't want me to fucking do that up there. She's afraid I'm going to paint the whole fucking ceiling, <laughs> so. I see what you're saying. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Well... <clears throat> I mean, I think 500 is probably as low as I can come just because the materials are going to cost me about 50, 60 well, I mean, bucks. Oh, for the covering. And then sure. I got to pay my helper, and he's a good skilled worker, so I can't really get away with, yeah. you know, I, I got to pay him. And then, you know, really, there's, I think that's pretty fair. But um, what were you guys kind of thinking? I, I mean, I don't know what she's thinking. She, I mean, she said like 300, but I don't know. I, like I said, we're not painters, we don't know how. If you guys buy the materials, I know you were Kenny referred you guys, so I mean I could I could probably meet you in the middle at four hundred bucks. I think I can get it done for four hundred. What I mean, I, I we've got some blue tape here. I don't know how much of that shit you need. Probably more than what we got. We got a couple. Yeah, well, of everywhere that we're gonna paint, I'm gonna want to wrap the base, so I'm gonna want to put like some tape on there. Yeah. And you know, I got some leftover too, and that's kind of why I'm willing to come down a little bit because yeah. I do have some stock supplies. Yeah, we I mean we have tape all here. And, okay. And obviously, we need to get some more paint. I think we probably should get it some more. And if you guys are gonna move the furniture back and take the blinds I mean, down I, and stuff. I, mean, I could do all that shit. I mean. So yeah, I think I could do it. I'll get it done for 400 for how you guys. How much do you think, how far, I mean, can I leave them in here? Or do you need Basically to just enough off? to fit like a ladder, right? So like, you know, I don't know, you know, two and a half feet, I guess. Just enough to get a ladder, a little four foot ladder in all there. Right. Like even sideways, either, either way. Yeah, cause I had pulled that desk back, but. We had painted this before all these couches were over there like that, so. Yeah, I'll I don't move, need a whole lot. I'll just, move them out this way. Just this a little bit fine. of space. See, I can do it for 400. You guys are going to buy the paint. You yeah. move all the furniture so back. you take three more gallons of the gray. And then I think three more gallons will get it. We'll put a we'll put a coat on. And you think I should try to... Where is well, let me see how much is in there. Hmm. I mean, I really don't see a whole lot. Yeah, there's, there's not tons. I think, I think that'll is, be fine. I wouldn't I mean, worry this about is more. This is for this and for the ceiling stuff too, which there's not a ton of it. There's a couple places where I got little spots. Uh huh. But there's, I mean, I think over here, underneath, under there is kind of that way, and then I think I got the spots under here. But Thank it's you. not, it's not a ton of stuff. But I just didn't know how much. Yeah, and then you guys have the red already too, right? Yeah, we have the red. Okay. We have plenty of the red. We just did those two walls in red. Yeah, so I'll do you know I'll do four hundred, no problem. And then um, you guys are gonna supply the paint. Yeah, and then um, I mean you could. I, mean, I don't know what else you need besides tape and all that other yeah, shit. Yeah, just brown masking. So what I do is I come oh, just through. Like the paper. I, yeah, I put. So what I'll do is I come through with red construction grade paper and I roll that all the way through where yeah. the wood is at, and we'll throw drops to where the carpet is, and then on top of the baseboards here. We'll put the two inch tape and then on top of the two inch tape, I'll put like a nine inch brown paper. So that way it's like, you know, tape out to here and then brown paper. So that way when we're rolling, yeah. we're not going to get nothing on here. And then if we have any kind of spills, it won't soak through the the paper too. We tried the tape, but it freaking leaked through the goddamn tape too. Yeah, you, I mean, and that's the thing. The tape is more just preventative. And, and honestly, it's for the roller because I'll be cutting all this in with the brush. Yeah. And then I see there's some, there's some paint on top yeah, of here too. Originally, she was gonna paint all these baseboards too, so I kind of went and didn't care as much. And yeah. And then now we're deciding not to paint these ones over here. Oh yeah, see, that's a little bit of touch up on the base. So um, yeah, if you know what, if you want, I mean, you could quickly go through and just hit this top edge, and just because if I was coming into a house and I was gonna paint and I was gonna paint all the baseboards, the first thing I would do, man, is all the baseboards and all the trim. Yeah. Because then cutting the walls into the trim is a lot easier than cutting the trim, yeah. you know, in, into the wall. Yeah. So, like, I mean, if you got a little two-inch brush or something one day and you got to, you know, yeah. get a hair up the wazoo or whatever, you just come yeah. through and just, just hit that top edge. Yeah. 
Definitely like, before you do it that way. You... Yeah, and it don't have to be a lot of paint. Like I, yeah. I say dry brush, so you kind of load the brush and then scrape it off. Yeah, yeah. And then you can just kind of like lightly do it. Yeah. And then, then when we come, we'll put a fresh tape line and you'll have a nice clean line right there on top. Minimal, minimal effort. So um, what would you want us to get besides the paint? That's it, man. Just the paint? Yeah, I mean, those two rolls right there would definitely and cover the amount. Of, yeah, that's plenty of tape that we'll need. Okay. Like I said, I got some leftover stock tape that I'm willing to donate and stuff. Okay, thank you. And then uh, so any four? kind of pack on Spuddy. Yeah, I can meet you. Meet okay, you at I'll, four. I'll text her and I'll let her know, and then she's got your number. Or, yeah. Yeah, so. Um, and then as far as um, timeline, when were you guys kind of I hoping? mean, as soon as possible. I mean, we're trying to get it up on the market, so we. I mean, as soon as we can get it all fucking painted, then we can get all this shit cleaned out. And, yeah, for sure. But, um, I, okay, yeah, I mean, next week I'm pretty available next week. Okay. As far um, as next week goes, but after that it gets a little hairy. Okay, I'll, I'll text her right now. I guess I'll call her. She's not, I don't think she's at work yet. Yeah, no rush. I mean, you can take your time, get a hold of her and let me know. And then, like I said, next week's pretty pretty flexible next week. Yeah, so, so I'll, um, either she'll text you or she, you text her. Yeah, she texts. Okay, text, it, call, whatever. Either that or it'll be me. I'll, if she busy or whatever i'll text you or she'll get a number for you and i'll just right. say anthony rocha whatever and i'll let you know okay i mean I did you want my you want to take my number down i, I sure i get it now i get it from her yeah no worries man yeah you can get it from her if that's easier yeah for i you. mean that way she can just text it to me and i have right. her phone to find the paper for yeah so 400 sounds you know, good i mean it sounds better than 650 from what the other guy was telling us we're like I yeah. thought he was just telling us that because he didn't want to do it oh no but, i mean you know it's, i mean any i mean most painters i would hope that you know they want to do a good job yeah i mean it just takes a little bit of time to prep work getting everything yeah, set well, up i don't think he was that one that was actually painting the oil you have like two guys here and oh yeah see it's me it's me and another guy and i have a part-time yeah. guy so it's like me i'm doing i'm gonna be the one doing all the making the lines yeah. and stuff you know it's the only yeah. part of the job i actually enjoy is brushing and rolling so it's when it gets in the spring and stuff it's kind of a pain in the butt yeah so yeah i can do a 400 man you guys are fairly close i'm in a, i'm in ripping so okay I know. So there's cruise back roads over here, no traffic, yeah, nothing. Alright, all right, man. Alright, all right, Anthony. Thank Thanks, yeah. No yeah, problem, I'll, man. I'll be letting you know either sometime this evening or if not tomorrow at the latest. Alright, perfect. And then we'll get you in looks. Alright, man. Alright, all right, take it easy. You too. Have a good one. You too. Alright, so I don't know, guys. I really hate coming down on my price, you know. But he had tape already. The thing is, too, when you bid a little high, bid at what you want. Because then you can come down a little bit. My first bid was mainly because I was going to be supplying all of the material. Um, minus the paint. I was going to have him, obviously, pay for paint. But as far as the paper and tape goes, um, you know, I was going to supply that. I usually take all the mini blinds and all the plates and all the everything down and get the walls ready, you know. You guys have seen my videos. You know that's what I'm talking about. But if I can get him to move all the furniture and stuff, I think that's good. So 400 bucks, you know, it's not a lot, but it's a quick little knockout job that I was referred to this job from another painter buddy of mine who can't get to it. So, you know, we'll go ahead and uh, do him a little favor, do him a little favor. But, you know, other painters around this area are bidding something like that for 650. So that's why I came in at 550, which I figured was a good medium range uh, with some with some wiggle room, you know. So, all right. I hope this helps you guys out. Now, if you made it this far in the video, uh, let's put wiggle room in the comment section. So I know you guys are watching and the real who my real ones are. Uh, don't forget to give me thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And check the links in the description below for my free estimating guide and more. Free estimating guide and more. Damn, Oakdale, bud. Check this almost ran me over. For my free estimating guide and there'll be a link in there too to show you guys how to get leads. Man, I generated like 25 leads off of $22 in ad spend. No joke. That's the truth. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Or you can click any one of these videos and I'll see you right now.